Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do an updated reading for the sign of Cancer. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for, I would say, you know, I don't know, next 10 days or, you know, the timing is fluid. I really don't like to put a time on these things. So we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here, get an overall energy. Um, for the other ones, I did say, you know, 10 days, the, the updates that I have done for the other signs. I still have a few more to do, but I felt like it was your turn. So what do we have for Cancer? For the very near future, what do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Something good is happening. I just see the Nine of Cups. And it's like things are looking up. Deep fulfillment is coming. You may be deepening a bond with somebody or singles. Could be meeting a uh, strong connection really soon. You know, something that's going to make you really, really happy. Things getting better with the Nine of Cups. A wish being granted. The answer to your prayers or something like that. Two of coins. Two of coins. Two of coins. This is two pentacles. We have somebody here that is very well put together, very skilled. This guy um, is busy, 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 busy. He's busy. So we have a very busy individual here that is very skilled at keeping things under control. Very uh, organized. Looks like uh, things may be a little bit chaotic, but you're handling it very well. Or you're dealing with this person. Uh, could this in the next few days? Maybe and I know I know that this doesn't seem feasible, but we have a restaurant here. Um, we could be dealing with a, a restaurant owner or a business owner, and I normally wouldn't say that with the two of coins, but I, I feel this strongly. Um, this is catering to everybody's needs. It's probably not easy to cater to everybody's needs, but somebody is doing it uh, quite well. A lot of very uh, under high demand, right? Somebody we got you, we got somebody here that is under high demand. Okay. Um, things may seem a little nuts, okay? You may feel like things are, are crazy right now, but I think that you are able to handle this craziness, okay? I think everybody wants your attention. You're probably running around like a chicken with your head cut off, feeling like, uh, you know, is this ever going to end? Am I ever going to get a break? This is crazy. It's crazy. I feel like um, everybody wants your attention or something like that. Um, or you're dealing with somebody that that is, uh, you know, under a lot of pressure. This person is under a lot of pressure by handling it very, very, very well. Um, very balanced, very flexible, able to adapt, okay? Adapting to some changes, perhaps. Or maybe you're on your own, too. It's like... It's like you're, you got no help. You got no help. And it's like it's overwhelming. So you may be feeling like, what the hell is going on? This is crazy. I got no help from nobody. Uh, so craziness. Um, catering to everybody's needs and nobody's helping you. What do we have for cancer? Maybe dealing with somebody who likes wine. Somebody that drinks wine. Page of Wands reversed. Now the Page of Wands reversed is a negative Nelly. It's a negative Nelly. Um, bad news, perhaps. Unreliable. You're dealing with somebody that is unreliable. Cancer. Somebody that procrastinates and makes excuses. I'm not sure if it's one of your children or somebody that acts like a child. Um, Page of Wands it reversed is. You know, somebody that doesn't get off the ground. They don't they don't follow through. That's in reverse. Five of Cups. Now this is grieving. Grieving. Sad. Um, there's been some sort of loss. Or there's there's a wanting to self medicate. Um, 
overwhelmed, tired, 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 um, feeling alone. But there is an opportunity here. You may meet somebody. I don't know if you're going to a bar. And I know the bars are closed in most locations. But this, ha or it could be a liquor store. I don't know. Um, could be even a coffee shop. Okay, it doesn't have to be a liquor store. It's like there's still there's an opportunity that you are missing. You're not seeing. You're you're not seeing an opportunity for for well two of cups right there, crying over a spilled milk, crying over a loss, crying over. Um, something that hurt you or broke you or something like that. It's like there's an offer here. So there is there is an offer of, you know, there's an opportunity for a partnership with somebody. We got somebody here that is sulking. They're sulking instead of, you know, realizing that there's another opportunity. It's like not seeing it. Seven of Swords. Now the Seven of Swords is... Uh, Things are a little cloudy. Things are a little cloudy. We, there's some sort of deception here. Somebody is is getting away with something. Somebody is. It's almost like is letting somebody get away with something. This person has has hurt. Doesn't care. Is stealing or has been robbing or, you know, has been lying. This is deception of seven of swords. And we got this person that is like, oh my God. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who is, uh, you know, swords are, this, are, are usually um, painful. So this could be some sort of truth. This is, this is uh, in a state of depression over somebody... Uh, I don't know if somebody is, is telling the truth or they're saying things with the seven of swords. It looks like it looks like this person knows that you're hurting. They know that you're they know that they're hurting you, but they're doing it anyway. Somebody is hurting you, Cancer, and they're doing it anyway. You could be dealing with a blonde haired woman. This person is um this person is thinking about the person that they hurt. Now, I don't know if somebody has been cheating, but this is a card of cheating. They may have cheated with somebody that they met at the bar or something. I'm not, I don't know if that's the truth, but that, you know, could be the case. They could have met this person at work as well. Now, this is at work, working really hard, putting in effort. Now, the Seven of Swords is, is betrayal. It is betrayal. It is deception. Somebody is not telling the truth. They're not telling the truth. And they're probably feeling guilty. This is somebody's feeling guilty. You know, they may have uh, cheated or lied or deceived. Somebody is feeling really guilty here. Hey, three three pentacles. We have a third party situation. I'm one. Somebody may have uh, decided to work with somebody else. They made plans with somebody else. Something about work as well. Somebody may have met somebody through their job, or they're about to meet somebody through their job. But there is some element of guilt here and bad news. This is bad news. Oh, the devil reversed. Three of Cups. Yes, yeah, this is a third party situation. I'm wondering if somebody cheated. If somebody cheated on somebody and now they regret it. Because the Five of Cups is regrets. They regret it. They, they may have got themselves involved with somebody that is not very well suited for them. Because the Page of Wands and reversed is somebody that is not well suited. Okay, that's a, some, a suitor that comes in that isn't well suited. There's no attraction there, right? There's not. But there may have been, you know, some desires with the devil reversed. Maybe there was some lust or there was an ego or pride or something that got and made somebody choose the wrong one. Okay, somebody chose the wrong one. But this is freedom. The devil reversed is freedom. 
in the third party situation it's a termination it's it's uh this party is over it's over the party is over this is terminating this is a lack of emotional growth this is parting ways with a third party situation that somebody has been bound to they have been they've been tied to an unhealthy situation it, but it but with the devil reverse that is freedom it's freedom um there's been a lot of suffering there's been despair okay there's been suffering and despair here, but it's like you need to find your ability to break free from the deep, dark place that you've been in. You've got to find the ability to face your fears. Things It seems like things have gotten worse. They've gotten worse. I feel like they've gotten worse because somebody put in effort into the wrong one. You know, they put effort in. They, they decided that they wanted to work with with somebody else and i think now they have some serious regrets over doing so um the fool starting fresh there's an opportunity to start fresh here there's still an opportunity for love that is being missed See this, this, this guy. There's an opportunity for love that is being missed. Okay, there is for a partnership. There is an opportunity because you notice that guy is sulking. He's he's moping. He's probably feeling guilty. He may be feeling ashamed. He probably has some sort of regrets. He involved himself in a third party situation. He did. He did. And he doesn't realize that there's still an opportunity for love. There's still, but he can't see it because he's crying over what happened and whatever happened. Okay, the third party. There's been some, um, you know, you see, you see that wine, but that could, it's like blood. It's been, it's been uh, bloody, right? Or it's been painful, okay? So I feel like this guy is missing an opportunity for love because he's, He's not seeing that there's still an opportunity there. He's missing it. And the reason he's missing it is because of this ego. This is ego, his pride. Okay? All right? He maybe even have some addictions. Okay, we have a liquor store here. And this is addictions. He may be drowning his true feelings in addictions. It's, ready, it's, it's easier to just, you know, drink the pain away or drug the pain away than to deal with the pain, bury the pain. So I feel like we have somebody here that is 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 hurting over you know cheating another person and i feel like uh there is an opportunity that is being missed there's an opportunity for a partnership that is not being seen because uh somebody is is you know wallowing or whatever instead of taking action you know um they have to part ways with the third party completely. This is parting ways from the third party. There's probably some gossiping going on. Uh, lo there's a lot of things that are being said. We have, we, it's, it's like we, it's like this person is hurting this person and they know it, but they're doing it anyway. And, 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 and this person is feeling regrets because this person is, is going someplace else. Okay. It looks like maybe working with somebody else now. So this person is knows that they're hurting the person there. It's like revenge, okay? There's revenge here. So this revenge is is really hurting both people. This person is really looking back over here at uh, the other one, but is working with somebody else, okay? There's a fresh start here. This is a fresh start, starting from scratch, starting over. Uh, letting bygones be bygones and leaving the past behind, starting on a new journey. Somebody may be traveling. They may be traveling for work. And they, for this is just, I'm going down another line now. I'm going down another um, route. You know, going down, and it's funny, the words that are coming out of my mouth. Somebody may be going down and they may stop at a bar. They're soaking and they and they meet somebody. Just saying, they may meet somebody. I know that most of the bars are closed right now, but this could be in the future. Um, something about traveling for work as well. Oh, I got the Queen of Swords on the bottom in the upright. So I gotta, I gotta grab her. Yes, sir. Here she is. So we have the Queen of Wands. Okay. I mean, did I say the Queen of Wands? I meant to say the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, Aries. The, obviously, I want to say Queen of Wands. It could be dealing with the Aries. We have an Aries here as well. But we also could be dealing with a Queen of Swords, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
So looks like somebody is Uh, it's going to take her hand. Going to take her hand, ask her for a dance, get an invite, get an offer. This Queen of Swords is getting an offer. And that could be why this person is so sad. Somebody is grieving because, and this is, is, is engaged. It's like there's a, there's a, there's loss here, obviously, with the Five of Cups. We have somebody here that is regretting not putting in effort. They're regretting not putting in effort because whoever it is that they did not respect has gotten a new offer. So there is a new offer here. There is a new offer here. There is. We have a new beginning here for somebody that has been, this is an independent person who has been alone, has been waiting, has protecting, been protecting themselves. This person is very honest and very truthful and very blunt and very matter of fact. Very this this person is very very intelligent, um, intuitive as well. So this Queen of Swords, she's been uh, waiting. She has been waiting. And it's almost like a traveler. It's almost like a traveler comes. A traveler comes and strikes her interest. You know what I mean? And maybe he's he's coming to help her with something. Which is interesting because on this card, it's like somebody is, is helping her. Helping her get up. Helping her get up uh, off on her feet. So somebody is coming to help this person get back on their feet. Maybe you have worked with this person before because it's like there's there's some sort of work element here. Which is interesting. So we have somebody here that is moping over the loss of a person. They're moping and they have regrets because they got themselves involved with a third party. This third party isn't well suited. Not at all. Not well suited at all. And maybe that's the uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that I was talking about. Could be anybody. But this person is not well suited. They're just not very attractive or they're not. There's no attraction there or something like that. There's definitely no love there. Okay. And now it's like this is breaking free. Things are getting worse. They're getting worse and worse and worse. There's a lack of friendship. It's like these people aren't even really even friends. And this party, the honeymoon is over. The party is over. There's been no emotional growth. So we have this person that is, is, is sad. And they are re very regretful for engaging in that. So it, it, it feels like we have somebody here that is is not really open to uh, getting into a new partnership or isn't looking for a new partnership or something like that. And here it is. It feels like it's here. It does because we have a major new beginning with this. This is starting a new chapter, leaving the past behind. Somebody could actually run into somebody uh, and it feels like uh, you weren't even looking. It's like you weren't even looking, but there's a lot of hurt here. There's a lot of hurt here. And perhaps it's two people that have been hurt, you know, because this person um, is protecting themselves. And it feels like they're coming, they're, 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 they're coming back. I feel, cause it's like, I see this person over here, you know, feeling guilty. Somebody is really feeling guilty feeling guilty or feeling like they need to go back, feeling like they need to make amends or something like that. Um, whoever the person is that you are dealing with, they know, they whoever you're dealing with, they know that they hurt you. They know that they hurt you and they don't care. They're doing it. They're doing it. So this person doesn't care. They're looking back. Yes, they're looking back. They know that they hurt you, but they don't care. Now they're working with somebody else. They are. Uh, 
I feel like there's an opportunity to start fresh with somebody new for you. I think that whoever is coming is uh, a traveler. You know, this person is a traveler. Um, maybe they're moving to the location or you meet them, you know, could even be at the grocery store. If you are single, could be at a restaurant, but I know the restaurants are, are closed right now, but I don't know how long they're going to be closed. And I imagine they're not closed everywhere, but, um, cancer, I feel as though you have a new beginning here. I think that you are being called to take a risk, you know, and I know that sometimes taking a risk is, is not uh, a good idea, but this is have faith. Okay. Have faith. I feel like there is an opportunity to work with somebody that is uh, pure. You notice the white. I mean, this person is pure. So Cancer, I feel like you're going to have to make a choice because this is a choice. The Two of Coins is a choice. It is. You can continue to focus on somebody that isn't well suited for you. Or you can choose to break free. Take what you got. Take what's left. And start putting in effort to somebody new. There is somebody new here. There absolutely is. I think that there's. this is very spontaneous. There's a spontaneous meetup. But you're going to have to choose which way do you want to go? Which one, what is more important? Do you want to keep crying over the loss? Or do you want to work with somebody that is genuine? So I think there is somebody arriving that is brand new. Or you are arriving into their life. But you're going to have to choose. Do you want to keep sulking? Or do you want to move forward? It almost feels like something about the checkout line as well. And I don't know where the checkout, how that because I see the check here and then for some reason the checkout line came to my I pictured the check I picture the checkout line so you know I think that somebody has been in a third party situation with somebody that they don't love and that would be a third party if you're dreaming about somebody else if you are if you're if you're dreaming about somebody else then you're basically in a third party situation so anyway, Cancer, I feel as though you have a you have a new beginning here where a new phase of life is about to begin. All you have to do is break free from the uh hurt, okay? And I know that's not easy. It's easier said than done. It's like, yeah, this person is hurting you. You gotta rise above it. Whoever that person is, you gotta rise above it and say, you know what? I'm ready for my new life. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You know? We have two people right here that are coming together spur of the moment. They are. They are. And this could definitely work. It could work. It could work. This is a very, I feel like it's very compatible. But you're going to have to choose. What is most important? Your past or your future? You can't keep going back and forth. So there's an opportunity for a partnership that is going to be presented to you. 
Do you want to keep lying to yourself? Do you want to keep hurting yourself? Do you want to let that, that person that you're not connected to control you? Or do you want to be taken by the hand? Anyway, Cancer, you have a new beginning here. It happens very spur of the moment. My advice is to open up to this person and give them a chance. Good luck.